Greetings fellow ukuleleans, Jeff Weinberger coming at you here with a new tutorial. I'd like to talk today about Travis picking. This will wrap up our series on how to practice the ukulele finger style edition. And then we'll get on to some other subjects. But with Travis picking, we're talking about a, a style that was named after Merle Travis, a 50s country guy. He played guitar, electric guitar. He had this very distinctive style that he did where he kept a bass line going with his thumb. Uh, alternating on two bass strings of the guitar over and over. And then he played melodies on top of that and even sprinkled chords in the middle of all of that. So it sounded like three guitar players all at once. Pretty amazing. Um, Merle Travis. And then from there, Chet Atkins took that even further in the 60s. And he became pretty famous as a guitar virtuoso. And then lots of other people took it up uh, after that. Glenn Campbell and uh, Roy Clark. And then today, Tommy Emanuel, very good uh, Australian guitar player, Tommy Emanuel, kind of takes that style even further. So Travis picking is very dazzling when it's done right and when played fast, but it can be very accessible too. And it's used in some simpler styles of music. It's not just for flashy things like that. But uh, rockabilly is a good style to use it in. Country is, of course. Folk. And then even rock, uh, you have some acoustic rock songs like Dust in the Wind. You might remember the band Kansas from the 70s. They had a, uh, a great hit with that song. And that used Travis picking on the guitar. You hear a little bit of it in Simon and Garfunkel and things like that too. So let's look at what Travis picking is. Basically, it's like I was saying with Merle Travis, that alternation of the thumb on two strings going... That's what drives it. That's like the heart of uh, Travis picking, is keeping that forward momentum chugging along with those alternating notes. So when you hear somebody go, underneath all of that is this. Just two notes alternating, just the thumb, the thumb going from one string to another string. So that's what drives it all. That's what gives it its, uh, its beat. And then on top of that, you're sprinkling some other notes with your fingers. So it's uh, totally using your thumb and your fingers in conjunction with each other and coordinating all that. So as a kind of a warm-up exercise, let's just practice on our open strings. Let's take our open G and play it with our thumb. Let's take our open C and play that with our thumb like this. One, two, ready, go. G, C, G, C, G, C, G, C. G C G C G C G C. Hopefully that was easy for you. We're gonna do that even slower though. One, two, three, four. G C G C G C G C G C G C G C G C. Hopefully that was uh, good for anybody who the first one, it was too fast for. All right. And then we take that and we're going to add something called a pinch. And all a pinch is is when you play two strings at the same time. And you do so by using your thumb on one of those strings and a finger on another one of those strings at the same time. So in this case, the pinch is going to be on your C string and your A string. Using our thumb on the C and our middle on the A like this. Pinching those two strings. So then if you alternate the um, G string all by itself with your thumb and then the pinch, you get this. Thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch. And again, that pinch was with your thumb in your middle. We're saving our index for something it's going to do later. So you might want to practice that by itself. Uh, another way you can do this is just mute your strings. You can cover your strings with your left hand so they don't make much sound and just practice going. So you're purely focusing on your right hand fingers and not so much the sound you're producing. You're focusing on the rhythm and the mechanics of it, the technique. So that's a good way to practice it too. All right, let's add another note to that. So we have thumb, pinch. Let's go back to the G string and play that with our thumb. That gives us this. G pinch G. G pinch G. G pinch G. 
G, pinch, G. Let's do that together slow. And we're going to uh, hold that last one a little longer. So it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. G, pinch, G. G, pinch, G. G, pinch, G. G, pinch, G. And there you have it. Pretty easy pattern, not too too hard to get into. Um, let's add one more note. Let's make it a little more challenging. So now we're gonna do G, pinch, G, E. And that E comes real quick. That comes on the end of three. So G, pinch, G, E. G, pinch, G, E. G, pinch, G, E. G, pinch, G, E. Put that together with the beat and you get this. G pinch G E. Notice the E comes quicker than the other notes. The other notes were quarter notes. They were square on the beat. They happened when you tapped your foot. But that E happens to come between the foot taps on the ands. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. We're not yet doing anything on four. We're just holding. One, two, three, and four. 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 I'll put my hand up closer to you so you can see it. And let's see if you can get this from hearing it and seeing it. See how that works? It's got um, all the rhythm of Travis picking minus one little thing, and that's this final step we come back on the C string with our thumb so we had G pinch G E thumb G pinch G E thumb put all that together and you get this let's practice that really slow together one two three four One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, 